Hey. Hello, folks. How are y'all today? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, nice and cool weather today. Wednesday the 13th. Wednesday the 13th. What's been going on, Daniel White? Oh, man, a little bit of everything. I had a good time this weekend. Look at the show. You looked at the show? Look at Bobby and, Bobby and uh, Andrew. And then yeah. I look at the, the golf game. Got a good kick out of that. That's the toughest one I've seen in a long time. That was a good game, huh? The Masters he's talking about. Oh, folks. yeah, the Masters. The master, the guy that got the green coat, was from Africa. Yep, Africa. What is? Uh, his name was Charles Schwarzel. Ah, uh, Schwarzel. <laughs> well, he was a proud fella. Yeah, he was 26 years old. He won it 14 under. Yeah, 14 under. 14 so. under. 14 under Paul, man. Man, that's good. Yeah, Ooh. that's good. Young guy. Boy, he was all smiles, too. Oh, man, you talk a butt. Let's talk a little bit about our sponsors. What about Benny's Big Store? Benny's Big Store. Benny I went, Neely. I went to Benny Big Store yesterday and got me some grapes and a two banana. Two banana? Two banana and some grapes, some green, juicy grapes. grapes. Well, they always got <laughs> fresh vegetables and fruits, yeah. huh? Benny's Big Store, right. right there on 806 That's right. Union Street, South Union, here in Opelousas. Mm -hmm. uh, Nine four eight six five three three. I gotta tell Benny Big Store to get them plurine back on that counter. They ain't had none. I missed the what? Plurine. What? Them plurine candy. Pl Praline. Plurine. Praline. Peanuts plurine. Yeah. Yeah, you have them delicious ones. Praline. Yeah. 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 You get. Two yeah, I had dollars. Clayton. Clayton brought me some nice pralines the other day. Uh, yeah. At my house. Sure uh, Clayton Neville's. Yeah. He, he yeah. cooked some pralines. So now? Yeah. Oh, but wow. Benny's always got some, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I picked me up two for a dollar. Two for a dollar? Yeah. Well, it's cheap. I'm yeah. with two dollars a piece. Did that wrong. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Uh, that's a good but price on them at Benny's Big Store, huh? They didn't have none yesterday. They ran out. <laughs> Look, they got daily plate lunches over there, too, and they oh, uh, man. are. Uh, open seven days a week. Yeah, and on Friday they got that good old fried fish. Fried fish. Fried fish on Friday. Friday, yeah. um, Friday and Wednesday, yeah. Friday. Yeah, stop by and tell Benny uh, we told you that he'd probably be over there, huh? Oh, yeah. He says he retired. He's on the drop program. He drops by the store yeah. every now and then. Little Benny there every day, him. Yeah, oh, yeah, little Benny's there. Benny Joe. He's yeah. there every day. Stop by and tell him we sent you, folks. Mm. Benny's big star. Uh, American Bank and Trust Company since 1958. Uh, I played golf with Ronnie LeChute over there at the American uh, Bank yesterday, uh, Ronnie Monday. LeChute. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Did you beat him or he beat you? Well, we were playing <laughs> on the same team. Same team, okay. So we were playing together. Oh, yeah, I see. I was playing against another guy, some other guy. Some other team, yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, boy, we had a good time, man. I didn't see you out there. No, I couldn't make it. I got tied up with so much. I didn't know which way I was going for a while. <laughs> well, anyway, the American Bank and Trust Company since 1958. Don't forget about them. Checking accounts, savings accounts, mm. all kinds of good stuff with locations in Opelousa, Port Barry, Lawtail, Cross Springs, yeah. and Lafayette. And Targill Caesar and the Butcher Supplies right there uh, on Vine Street. Ted Bellard and his bunch. I didn't see Ted at the tournament. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm sure he bought a sponsorship. Yeah, he probably did. But I didn't have see the him time, at the golf probably, tournament. Probably Usually he's there. Was so great, he couldn't get that. Well, he's a real good golfer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I didn't get to see him, but uh, Targill Caesar, look him up on the website. Mm -hmm. They got a real good store online, targill.com. And they uh, they're really trying to please everybody. They they a big employer. Yeah, and then they in got Saint Landry Parish. Mama Fried Chicken on two locations: Jake Drive and Landry Street. Mama Fried Chicken. Yeah. Also, they got the Saint Landry EMS, the Emergency yeah. Medical, Medical Service. Medical Service. Yeah, they do good with that too. And they got Bellard's Poultry. They got all kind of enterprises uh, there. Poultry, that's huh? right, on Bellard Street, going towards the Lewisburg Highway. Is that Bellard Street? Mm, yeah, Bellard. I got a house Bullet. there. Bullet. Bullet, I want to say. Bullet. Bullet. Yeah. That's... Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, stop by and visit our sponsors and tell them we sent you by there. Um, 
So what's going on, Danny White? Oh, nothing much. I want to congratulate Bobby. Bobby this. Dupre? Bobby Dupre. Yeah, I saw Congratulations, Bobby. Bobby, on your award that you got uh, at the, from the Chambers. And I also thank you for giving me that hint to go to Mr. What that man name again? He gave me that. I heard him announce it on the name for that honey. Mr. What the? I can't call his name for oh, that. I should have uh, written it down. Mr. Uh, his name is Mr. Uh, and I know him good because him and daddy was good friends. Because they both worked at the Muret Packing House. Oh, that's a knock-in. Mr. Knock-in. Alan right. knock -in. Yeah, you're going to have some honey uh, by July. In July. Yeah. So you're going to rob those honeybees, huh? And Bobby promised to give me and you each a, a, a bottle of that honey. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll be waiting for it, Bobby. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I wanted to mention that golf tournament they had, uh, Earl Taylor's golf tournament, our district attorney yeah. over at the Indian Hills Country Club. Uh, Boy, they had a big, big turnout. Uh, saw a lot of people. Buddy Caldwell, our attorney general, was there. Mike Horson, the district attorney from Lafayette, was there. Uh, Pat Morrow, just lots and lots of people. Uh, I think just about everybody you could think of around, you know, the business world in Opelousas yeah. was there. Uh, had a lot of good people over there. And I did see my man Bobby Dupre. Yeah, he was there too. But he doesn't play golf. <laughs> he but don't I, play I said, golf. Bobby, you don't play. He said, No, no, I don't play. Yeah. He needs to start playing. Bobby would probably be a good golfer, huh? Probably would. Bobby come from a, a boxing background. He ain't much on that. Yeah, he used to like to box. Huh? Yeah, he used to like that. That's I think He's that's too old to be boxing now. You gotta play golf, huh? <laughs> That's the only sport I believe Bobby ever had, had in his life, I think. Oh, really? That I can remember. I don't know. I thought I he played know if he football played, and all kind of stuff. Might, well, if he did, I don't remember. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, I, I, I played golf uh, hmm. Sunday at the farm. John Up. Lafayette uh, with uh, Pat Morrow hmm. and Jimmy Daugherty. Yeah. And Pat Fleming from Lafayette. Hmm. Lafayette. So, uh, we had a good time doing that. Boy, it was windy, windy. Yeah, it's been windy for a couple of weeks now. A lot of wind. And then we went bass. Mm -hmm. I went bass fishing last Friday. Sure Let me not. show you these fish I caught. Steve, you got those fish? Yeah. Oh, man, look at these fine bass we caught, man. Where y'all went got them at? Huh? Where oh, that's Stanley Muller. Look, Stanley. Oh. My man, Stan Muller, over at the electric place. Yeah. Now that got in there. There's HB. He killed him a big old turkey in St. Francis. Wow. Fish. CHB? Yeah. I look at that bass. Boy, Isn't that pretty? That's as HB with a big bass. Yeah, that's Matt Shute. Matt Shute. Matt Shute. That's a big, big old that bass. Thing. You remember oh. Shute's drug store years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. and there's Pat and HB. They got a bass there. They got a hook stuck in them, so they're trying to get that hook out of them to, to release them. Yeah. Yeah. Pat and HB. Yeah, there's another picture of a That's big old bass. One. Look at that whoa, big bass, man. Whoa. Awesome. Some beautiful huge, fish. Huge. Look at that. Wow. There's yours truly. <laughs> oh. There's me with a bottle. That's bass. Uh, like what does nine pound, bottle? thirteen oh, ounces. Nine pound. Whoa. That's a big bass. It's the biggest one we caught that day. Yeah. Yeah, we caught some beautiful fish. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, how about that, man? People like to see those pictures, huh? <clears throat> anyway, we had a good time fishing, man. Those bass were hitting. I think we caught 14. 14 bass. The smallest bass. one was about a little over two pounds. Oh, and then from there, we jumped to bass about four pounds and up, I'm going to say. Sure enough. Yeah, wow. four, four pounds and bigger. And I, like I said, I think it was 14 of them we caught. And, of course, we turned them all back. Back in. Catch and release, man. Yeah. Let the let those bass live, huh? Yeah. They all couldn't eat them anyway. They had too many to eat. They're too big to eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, HB was saying if he caught one over 10, he'd mount it. What but he the, didn't what quite catch did one 10 turkey? pounds. He, he never caught one 10 pounds before. Did he clean that turkey up ready for the refrigerator? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pluck that bird. <laughs> Got them all ready. You like that wild turkey? Oh, I love it. Oh, man. I mean, I'm talking about the bird, not the whiskey. Yeah, I like the bird itself, man. Turkey, that's good, good eating. That's yeah. Healthy eating, too. And it's Saturday. 
Mm-hmm. Saturday, I went to meet Dr. Holm and ordered his phone. He's got a beautiful farm over there uh, yeah. between Opelousas and Washington. And we went out there mm-hmm. and we were just doing some stuff, clearing out some trees and just sure hanging out, kind of playing on the equipment and having yeah. a good Saturday. It was cool and nice breeze blowing. and. Yeah, uh, right. Oh yeah, man, it was nice out there. Oh, this is yeah. a good time of the year. I like it this time of the year. Yeah, I like it's that wind. Not too hot and no, all, you know. Uh, I like that wind. I can I can put up with that wind a lot. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Before the heat, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good, you know. So anyway, we had a good weekend. We had a full week, man. I tell you, the weekend kind of spilled over into Monday on that golf tournament. Huh? But uh, I'm going to tell you all what, Lee and, and Shirley Young really have it going on in Indian Hills Country Club. They got an 18-hole golf course, sure. probably in the best shape I've seen in a long, long time. So sure enough. Got in good shape. They got a covered driving range. They got swimming, tennis, mm-hmm. uh, just lunch. You can eat breakfast and lunch over there. You can bring your... Uh, your guests, you know, for lunch mm-hmm. and stuff, you know, office people, and yeah. uh, it's nice over there. You really got it going on, and it's a hundred bucks a month for a single bucks. membership okay. like you. Yeah, hundred dollars a month, hundred and twenty dollars a month for a full yeah. family membership. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, a new mind. I think it's coming up pretty soon for real. Yeah, man, you can't. It's the best bang for the buck, man. Mm-hmm. Really good deal, and summer's coming on, man. Have good I'd like for each of y'all, everybody to look at joining the Indian Hills Country Club, get our membership up, and uh, mm-hmm. enjoy a good deal for all that stuff. Uh, they got a weight room in there. Oh, yeah. All that stuff for $125 a month. Can't go wrong with that. You can have wedding receptions and banquets mm-hmm. and all kind of mm-hmm. stuff over there. So can stop by and visit Lee and Shirley Young reunion over there too. and just look at the facility mm-hmm. and see how you like it. Huh? Yeah. Got family reunion, y'all can come over too. Yep. And uh, I wanted to mention I got a lot for sale on University Street in Lafayette if anybody's interested. It's a commercial lot. Commercial lot on nice, University Street. Nice lot, yeah, commercial lot. On University Street, high traffic area. Give us a call here at the show and we'll take care of that, huh? Mm-hmm. Good, good lot. Okay. So uh, we're going to have a short break. Be and back, we'll come right and back on the for second the second round half of, of the our show. show. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> 